Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Swan Song campaign where it is time to go into another flashpoint. It is Operation Flattened Earth, a flashpoint that expires in 100 days, but yeah, we're going to do it even faster than that. The Capellian Confederation has asked us to help, and the cool part about it is they do not like us a lot, and this flashpoint is an option to kind of rekindle the relationship a tiny bit. On the other hand, we're fighting against the Razorback company, which is God knows what. Uh, there's really, we don't give a shit about them. They are no faction whatsoever. And uh, let's have, let's, let's listen in what uh, the good friends from the Capellian Confederation are asking us to do. So, behavior can't be tolerated, uh, accept the offer, don't worry about us, we'll get the job done. Oh yeah, we're doing some wet work, we're pirates. So, let's go. Tundra, three and a half uh, skulls, and... Survival so Strong have identified the company's command and control mech as Cyclops. Eliminate that one and you will be Gucci. Okay, well that is... Oh, well, that's interesting. Cyclops. I want the Cyclops, but I also want the money. Let's do that happy medium because I think we're going to shred the Cyclops quite a bit. 500,000 plus some parts sound like a good plan so we got that new griffin ready to go firepower over here is a 200 what is the firepower of the others 260 for the centurion the other griffin also 200 270 for the hunchback hmm Well, well, that is a bit embarrassing because the firepower is indeed just as bad as with the others. So the Griffin, here's the thing, the Griffin itself is actually a good mech, but um, it... It has a huge engine built in, so it is very mobile and you'll get a lot of movement. And I, I like it for specifically that uh, purpose. The challenge with it is it does not offer a lot of room. And although the Centurion here has less storage capacity, just the way that the LRM things work, it still packs more firepower, which in itself is disappointing. Yeah, we're just going with uh, with that setup, to be honest. Griffin here can be a backup mech, and that's fine. It's also not embarrassingly bad. 200 damage is absolutely respectable for a medium-sized mech. It's just our, our standard is growing every single time. Back in action, let's uh, drop. Redport, Lily, Mox, and Hopbite are going at it once again. We're fighting against the Cyclops, and the Cyclops has an interesting yeah, mechanic. If I remember correctly, it was uh, the mech that allowed you to improve the initiative of the entire lance. So it's often used even in later lances, kind of as a support, just to get that initiative of all of the assault mechs up to two. And if you run it with an initiative pilot you even have a self initiative of that mech of three which is not bad or even four i no no i it was an assault mech if i'm not mistaken so three and it. but yeah it's a typical combination good let's see what the enemy is going to do got a couple of Bogies coming in from the right flank. That. Standing by. 
Nothing do super concerning yet. No problem. We're going in first. Got a griffin here. Got a Jaeger Mac. Ooh. A Jaeger Mac. Well. I think the Jaeger is the bigger threat. So starting with that. And B. Giving one shot over to the other side. Target locked. Yeah, not perfect. But then again, that is normal. And this guy here is 40% damage reduction. I also don't want Good to deal to with that. Lily Musa. And see, the medium laser plus 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 has this nice little plus 10% uh, chance to hit. At the beginning, that is really helpful. Jaeger mech is almost down. Griffin moves up. Aye, aye. Engaging target. And potentially kills the Jaeger. Nope, not quite. Moving into a bit of forest. And again, we're just... Keeping our resolve for now. You know what? Let's kill him with a precise shot. All committed. Thank you. Hawkbite, set a precedence that you are not leaving your mech out in the open. Not without being punished for it. Damage minimal. All right, they still leave their mechs in the open. Again, just waiting. And they got a thunderbolt. Okay, cool. Let's start with. Mox, because he's order. always the one kind of reducing reducing the enemy's accuracy. Um, evasion blips, rather. Griffin takes a bit of a beating. And then let's just give him two lasers. Stay within the heat limits. Thunderbolt. Slightly engaged. And this here is the Cyclops using his long range missiles. Waiting for order. And indeed, the damage is minimal. Lily moves twice. up. Vigilance. Just because we can. And let's hit this griffin here with all we got. Time to die. Yeah, critical hit. Guy's almost down. Ready Fantastic. I get you. On the move. Redford pull us up. Firing. Perfect. We can deal with the griffin next turn. In the meantime, Ryan moves up. You know what? Let's deal with him now, and we're saving some heat for next uh, for next round. Enemy mech critical damage detected. Fired up. There's work to do. Okay, interesting. I'm not 100% sure how he got back to 
poor initiative, to be honest. But let's make sure that the Thunderbolt does not act before us. So reducing his initiative Got it. to two. And with that, potentially his damage output, of course. Light damage, holding firm. Sixty percent, sixty percent, okay. Heading well, up. moving over here to evasion blips is better than nothing. Let's continue to hit Locking the Thunderbolt. A lot of stray shots in between. Good to go. Done. Good. The Centurion here can now precision strike and hopefully get uh, reduce the initiative even further. Thankfully, these guys are so tightly um, positioned to one another that we essentially just need to hit him from this angle, and there will always be stray shots hitting the Griffin, right? Good. Now is a good time to fully unload. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Fantastic. He's being knocked down. Let's see what his reaction is going to be. Moves over, shoots a little bit. Damage minimal. Nothing to be concerned about. Uh, so far, everything's holding up really well. Waiting on you, Commander. Good, Centurion moves over here. Let's make sure that the Thunderbolt here definitely does not act in this round and does not survive. There we go. Next up, we're going to destroy the Griffin up front. Uh, up front. Quite a few hits, he's almost down. When I shoot you, you'll take it and look good to go. Moving out. And this should copy. close the case. Tango down. Okay, good. Sixty percent. Yeah, all of these options are sixty percent shots. Good. Let's see how well we're holding up against him. Really nice hit. He's taking some stability damage. 
Tries to move back. Tries to hit the other griffin, and that's fine. What can I do for you? Ready for orders. Good, moving up. On my way. Centuri uh, Centurion here saves some heat, and it's just trying to hit him, uh, knock him down. Go. Doesn't really work that well though. Got it. Hunchback gets the forty percent damage reduction because we're soon going to eat a couple of rockets again. All right, reserve. Let's take the rockets. Yeah, that was foreseeable. That's why you're taking that extra 40% damage reduction against the missiles. It's even 50% damage reduction. Roger. Perfect. PPC destroyed. Griffin's almost down. Orion moves up. Let's hit him with all we got. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Lost evasive. And Pooch is knocked down. Pilot injured. Pilot oh, almost it's down. It's go time. Coordinates received. Still keeping that 40% damage reduction. Trying to hit him and trying to hit him really well. And there's more where that came from. Fortunately, he's just surviving it and is powering back up. Ha! Send me a real opponent. Standing by. Orders. Waiting for orders. Good, we're attacking with Breadboard. And there we go. Fantastic. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Saved some heat and killed the enemy. Going for reserve. Let's wait for the Cyclops to come, uh, come up. Moving over, bracing. Full throttle. We can do this. Let's go. Okay. For orders. Got it. Receiving you. Yeah, I don't want to be caught with my pants down. So let's move over here. Waiting on you, Commander. Hunchback needs a rest as well. Vigilance and sprints over here. Even if we give him one round to attack, I think we're yeah. still going to what be fine. Let's reserve and wait for what exactly he's going to do. Ooh, lucky hit. He got an AC 20. So that can't happen again. Let's start. We're trying to hit the head. Our primary target is taking damage. Not a single hit, uh, hit into the, uh, the head. I was hoping we could hit the head. Something I can do. Coordinates received. 
mainly because that would have um, started a, a chain if we hit him thrice in the head we could take the entire cyclops apart Okay, let's see how well the Hunchback is doing. Precision strike, everything into the head. Let's go. That was a lot of damage. Got something you want done? Move order received. Unfortunately. We still did not hit the head. Yes, command. All right, here we go. Report critical hit. Sort of curiosity. AC-20 is still intact. And from this side we should be fine. Orion moves up. We're getting low on ammunition, but that's okay. Both side horses destroyed and a knockdown that might knock out uh, the pilot. Nope. The guy's still going. Gotta be careful now. He might stand up and try to melee us. Yeah, or not. You got nothing, you hear me? Let's get fired up. Good to go. What's up, boss? Okay, let's continue and let's hope that we can hit his leg and actually get the guy down. Pilot is injured yet again. Okay, let's continue with our hits. Waiting for orders. Location confirmed. Griffin moves up. Again, let's try to hit his leg. still standing I was just hoping to get him down damn we destroyed the v core damn we destroyed the core it was close though, the pilot only had one hit point left and if we would have destroyed the leg he would have dropped again and it would have been game over. On the flip side we only had one salvage. So look at that Cyclops, assault mech I was right and good old 90 tons, yeah we're going to take that one lots of interesting mechs though Thunderbolt definitely one that I would like to build as well oh fantastic loot two times Thunderbolt one times Griffin and the Cyclops that couldn't have been better if I would have had four choices that would have been exactly the four that I would have picked And for a three and a half score mission, 
the, the alarms did pretty well. I think that's our new weight class. We can punch up a little bit, three and a half schools, maybe four schools, get that um, heavy mix on farm status and maybe an occasional assault mech here and there. All right. Um, go ahead. So the enemy. Wants to parlay. And they are saying that uh, the house Liu is so bad to them. And we want to definitely stay with them because why would we want to help any rando organization? No, 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 we're sticking with our contract. Not that we are particularly loyal. We would break it, of course, if uh, need be. But, you know... The Capellium Confederation instead of Razorback Company. <laughs> Got 16 loot in the next mission. And it's a straight up battle. So that could be game changing for us. Quite literally. If we pull off a stunt like the last time, there might be a few heavy mechs that we could get. Yes, Commander. So this here would only change minimum engagement range. We don't need that at this point. Mox, on the other hand, I think extra chance to hit with gunnery is good. Lily is still waiting for that multi-target. Um, yeah, I think we wanted to give her multi-target. Yeah, and to be honest, I think we Commander. should substitute her with Reaper because we wanted to also get a sensor lock. The first two were clones, the second two were clones, and these two were clones as well. So I want to make sure that we get kind of that sensor lock um, plus uh, initiative, master technician. So might as well skip a little Lily out in the, uh, in the next combat. Good, which kind of brings us to the end of today's episode. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, I appreciate your support. Hit that like button and maybe leave a comment down below. That would be much appreciated. And see you in two days. Bye-bye.